Welcome back, this is the Amajack. Today we got Gunslinger Containment Station by Fella Suicidal. And uh, today, I've been uh, I've been doing a lot of typing, honestly. A lot of typing. So it's a normal, you know, thing for me to be doing a lot of. Uh, I'm, I'm very passionate about typing, as I'm sure you're uh, aware if you've been watching for, for more than, I don't know, like five videos. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm I'm li I'm passionate about typing, um, and today I've, uh, I, I've I've been stagnated for a little while uh, with my typing speed. Typically, uh, I, w I was stuck around the like 130 or 120, I'd say, to like the the 150 ish. And uh, today I started, or yesterday I think it was, um, I started to make some more changes to my typing. I'm typing a lot more aggressively now. Um, which usually means I make a lot more mistakes, uh, and my my typing speed is actually like slower on average. But um, I'm able to uh, I'm able to type a lot faster when I don't make those mistakes. Like I'm getting, you know, like 160, 170, 180s, and then I'll I'll make a mistake and it'll drop down to like 110 or something. Um, and uh, it feels pretty bad when that happens. I'm not gonna lie. Um, but, at the same time, I got a 158 just now, 158 words per minute, being typed on uh, my little old keyboard here, just did a 158, it was, uh, you know, I've, I've been able to do 158s for a while, you know, um, like I, I showed off a 175 that I had the other day, uh, which was like a god tier race for me, I've, I've never had that in a, like, actual race before, um, but I've, I've been able to do like 158s, you know, get up to like 160 from time to time if I really uh, hit it, you know, I really get it. Um, but this one felt different, you know what I mean? Like I, 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 I've, I've had 158 words per minute before, but they always felt like there was some semblance of luck involved. Whereas with this one, nah, it was I was full confidence the whole way through. I was uh, I was reading the stuff as it was going, and I was uh, I was just typing the words, and I got a 158. It felt it felt as I was typing um, slow. You know what I mean? Like if, if you uh, if you if you type, um, there's there's basically three speeds that you can type at. Um, intentionally gimping yourself and like forcing yourself to type slowly. Like, uh, a lot of people type at, you know, 60, 70 words per minute. In order for me to do that, I have to, like, intentionally slow myself down, right? I, I have to make the conscious decision to be like, don't hit the key yet, don't hit the key yet, hit the key, you know? Like, I, I have to consciously make those decisions and uh, and type, like, on, like a, like, a rhythm, you know? And just do 80 words per minute, right? Um... But, there's uh, there's another speed, which is uh, like a, a comfortable speed. For me, it's typically about a 120 to 140-ish. To and it's a speed where you don't make too many mistakes. Um, you're not really like trying hard. You're just, you're just typing kind of naturally, right? Your natural typing speed. For me, about 120 to 140-ish. Um, which is like a staggeringly fast typing speed already. Um, I'm, I'm well aware. But, um, then there's the, the third, like, you know, uh, speed that you could be typing at, which is, uh, like, tryharding, you know, where you're, like, really, really, really trying, and, and you're not really, like, your brain kind of turns off, and, uh, you're just kind of hoping that your subconscious is able to kind of just take it, and, you know, let, let Jesus take the wheel, and... It's just, it's off to the races, right? So that's what it was like for me before. When I was doing, uh, like, 160s. Um, it was just like, just turn off the brain, just hit the keys. Typically, you know, you'd end up making a mistake, and then it's just like, oh, hey, I, uh, I don't know what I'm doing right now. I have no idea where I am, <laughs> you know? Uh, you have to, like, readjust, and you're not going to get back to it, and your, your whole just race is just garbage at that point. You can't recover. Um, but this 158, it was different. You know, it felt comfortable. It was like just a natural typing. 
And my natural typing speed is also going up as a result of me doing this much more aggressive racing style. My natural typing speed, like uh, every now and then I'll, I'll do a race and it's like, alright, we're just going to take it easy here. And I'm going to type uh, a race just to, to, to kind of clear up the mind, get out of the tilt a little bit and just kind of feel a little bit better about myself. And, uh, you know, even that'll be like a, a 145, 150 pretty, pretty easily all the time. Definitely almost always if I'm not really, really trying, I'm going to hit 130. Um, pretty much with 100% consistency these days if I'm typing comfortably, which uh, before I'd, I'd often hit like a 120-ish. Um, so it's really cool to see how the uh, the improvements are, are showing themselves, how, how there's results from uh, from what I've been doing in uh, in such a short period of time here, you know? Like, I only started doing this yesterday, the, the much more aggressive style, which is much more aggressive. My, uh, I believe my, yeah, my average speed on type racer has dropped. So my, my average typing speed with this is, is lower, but, you know, that's kind of what you need, right? You, you need to be making more mistakes and then refine it, and then, uh, and then, and then you'll be golden, right? So that's my goal. I'm, uh, I'm slowly getting more accurate. The, the, the thing is, is once I'm accurate with this uh, this much more aggressive style, once I kind of like refine it and, and get used to it, and it's more comfortable to me, and uh, I'm able to consistently type at that speed accurately, um, it's uh, like uh, it, it, it's probably like 160, 170 average, you know. Which means that, like, if I'm comfortable with that speed, I can, like, you know, really hit it and do, like, maybe, like, a 170, 180, you know, on a, on a good day kind of thing. It won't be, like, an uncommon occurrence. So, I don't know, and, uh, I'm thinking, I'm thinking maybe a month or two away, and I might, uh, might rise in the ranks of the, uh, the global typists, you know? I'm already, I'm already one of the best, but, uh, I want, I want to be the very best, you know? Oh, and I want to be somebody that uh, that shows up in newspapers and stuff, cause like, yo, check out how fast this person can type. You know, those people are typically like, you know, a little over 200-ish. I'm not, uh, I'm not quite at that point. I can do a couple of, um, I can do 200 if I get the right words that are that are like really muscle memory for me. Like, I think I can type your future at like 230 words per minute or something like that. But that's not, you know, a realistic, you know, use case. It's not. Um, you know, if you're going to get like a, a series of those where I'm able to type at uh, 200, then yeah, we'll have a 200 race, you know? But uh, it's, it's unlikely to happen, to say the least. And it's not a realistic view of, uh, of, of what I can do as, as a typist, either. Um, come on, dude. Um... So it's, uh, you know, whatever. I'll get there. I'll get there. My uh, my ultimate goal is to be uh, is, is to be consistently 200 words per minute. Not like every time, but I want like, you know, if I'm sitting down and I'm doing some type racer, I'm probably going to hit a 200, you know? Not every race, but, you know, a few races in, I, I should get, uh, you know, 200, maybe like a 195 or something, you know, somewhere around there. That's That's my goal. I think once I uh, once I'm there, I'm a little ways away at this point. I can I can do 190 if I get lucky, and I can do 200 if I get really lucky. Um, neither of those have happened yet. I know they could. Um, I've I've seen the you know the parts made up where where you know I can type these bits. You know if you set up a specific set of words, then then I can do a 200. You know I I can do it. It just hasn't showed up on on Type Racer. Um, and I, 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 you know, I'd be really, really happy if it did, because that'd be sick, right? To to have your your uh, your type racer profile say that my best race was was like a two ten or something. That would be just awesome, right? Like, whew, I'd love that. Um, but I would uh, I'd feel a lot better about it if it was like a normal thing for me, you know. And I don't think, um, we talked about it recently, 
uh, how it's like actually tiring to be typing like that. I don't think that even people who are typing 200 words per minute in races, competitions, you know, stuff like that, I don't think that's their normal typing speed. I don't think you're going to find anybody who's sitting down typing in Discord at 200 words per minute. You know, like people, fast typists, I feel, typically tend to sit in that like 120 to 160-ish range. Anything above that, and I, I, I think you're just, you just, it's too much stress, not enough game. And I'm not sure, like, how accurate you can be at that level either. Like, yeah, they're typing at 200. The, like, the races that they get that are 200 are probably 100% accurate every single time because, like, you just aren't hitting that many keys without, uh... Like, it's just, it's just, you, you, you gotta hit all the keys right, you know? You don't have time to, like, backspace and stuff at that point. Um, but, you know, how often are they going 100% accurate? You know, it's not a super every single time thing, right? So it's, uh, it's not like uh, your day-to-day -day typing speed is going to be 200, but it'd be awesome to have my uh, my competition speed, my my I'm trying to type real 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 good right now, be up there. My my highest again is is about 175 right now. My uh, my highest possible like likely to happen is is probably 190. Um, again, 200 I could do, but. It would just, like the stars would have to align way more than they're gonna. It's not uh, it's not reasonable to expect anything like that. But a 190, I think I'll get a 190 maybe in the next week or two. I'm feeling pretty confident about that. I'm getting close, you know. Like some races, I'll I'll see like a 170, 180, 190 even, and then I just tilt and. The whole thing falls apart, so uh, I'm, I'm thinking in the next week or two I should see a 190. I should see a lot more 170s for sure. My uh, my speed is definitely. Like I was just talking the other day about how I was so happy I got a 175, and now I'm looking at it like, yeah, no, 175. I can do that. I, I can do that. I can do that tomorrow if I just. Uh, there, there's a certain amount of luck associated with it, just because I have to not make mistakes, which is a skill thing, but right now is kind of a, a luck thing <laughs> for me. Um, you know, I can obviously work to, to make fewer mistakes, but you know, if I'm going to go get a 175 right now, I, I would consider it to be luck. Um, I'd consider myself to be skilled enough to do it, I just I would consider it to be a, a lucky race. Um stars aligned a little bit there for me. Um, hello. But yeah, it's uh, it's coming along. I'm, I'm working on it. I'm putting a lot of time into it. I can't put too much time into it though, is the thing. You can't, you can't race that much, you know? You do like 10 or 20 races and, and that's it. You gotta, you gotta take a break for a while after that, you know? You don't, you don't get to just sit down for a few hours and hammer out a bunch of races. I see people streaming type racer and they're like, road to 120 or something. I'm like, yeah, yeah you don't... You're not going to get there. It's, it's not going to happen. You have to take breaks. You have to rest. You know, like, if I if I do 10 races, my, my typing speed will already be dropping at that point. If I do, like, 20, 30, noticeably worse. My, my you know, I'll, I'll still have good races where I still hit, like, a 150 or something. Um, but my average will be just it'll just plummet at that point just because uh you know i'm i'm worn out i'm tired it's uh it doesn't feel like you're super tired but you get tired when you're when you're typing like that your hands just stop being as responsive your fingers aren't uh, aren't able to do what uh what you want them to do as as, as well as you want them to do it and a lot of people end up like typing way too much like hundreds of races in a day and it's like yeah you're not gonna you're not gonna see very much improvement that way you know 20 races a day will do just as much as like 100 races a day honest as long as you're actually trying to improve in those 20 races it'll it'll do just as much e perhaps even more you know taking a break is, is equally important um, but it means that I don't get to practice too much you know as much as I wish I could I, I wish I could play for you know hours on I end to just keep typing away because it's it's a lot of fun I have a lot of fun doing it I uh, I get to feel good as I uh, you know do something that I'm really good at it's always nice when you do something you're good at right 
when you when you get to do something you like doing that you're also good at it's just it's a, it's a fun it's a fun time um that's why I love typing it's a weird thing to love though I think right how many how many people out there are like yeah no what do, what do you love to do uh, I like typing what do you what do you like typing I don't know give me a list of words and I'll type it real quick like uh can you type this I'm like heck yeah I can so it's a, it's a weird hobby when you kind of break it down like that. I mean, aren't all hobbies kind of like a little bit weird at the end of the day, though? Typing's probably one of the weirder ones, though, right? How many how many people out there are like passionate about typing? Not many, which is is the main reason that I get to say that yes, I am one of the fastest typists in the world. It's just because there aren't many, um, and I'm particularly good. Uh, there's not much competition, though. You know? Most people, I, I feel like most people get to, like, you know, maybe 80 to 110-ish, and then feel content, right? That's 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 more than enough to be uh, satisfactory for, like, uh, an office job or something. Um, you know, you're good to go at that point for, for whatever you want to do. Why do you have to do any more than that? You'd only be investing in it if you're, like, passionate about it, right? And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a strange thing to, to be interested in. It's a strange thing to have fun doing. Because it's, it's such, like, a normal thing to do every day, right? Like, you just you type up uh, an email or something. If you're like, you have fun doing that? I don't know. I don't have fun typing up an email. You know, but... Typing on, uh... When it's, like, measuring you, and you're able to see that improvement and, and see those numbers, it just it feels good. So it's a very fun thing to do. I'm not sure I'd, uh, I'd have had as much fun with it if I weren't already a good typist. You know, like, like if I were 80 words per minute, I don't know if I'd be having as much fun with it. So I, I can kind of understand why people who aren't good at typing don't enjoy typing. Because I don't, I don't think I'd enjoy it very much either if I wasn't good at it. You know, part of the reason I enjoy it is because I get to see a bunch of big numbers that are, like, super impressive. If I didn't have those, would it be as much fun? I don't know. Maybe? But I've always been a good typist ever since I was a kid. I've uh, I've, I've kind of been I've I've lived on the on the computer for most of my life, honestly. Uh, growing up, I played a lot of MapleStory, RuneScape. Um, I didn't really have like friends so much that I wanted to hang out with anyway. I had to hang out with people just because uh, like I was forced to. But there was nobody I really wanted to hang out with for the most part. I would have chosen to, to stay inside and play on my computer all day if I could have. Um, I'm kind of glad I was forced to get out, but I, I wish that we kind of handled it in a better way instead of forcing me to go hang out with a bunch of people I didn't care about, but, you know, whatever. It is what it is. Um, okay. So I've, I've always been a fast type, so when I found, you know, Type Racer and, and all these typing games and stuff like that, it's, uh, I was already good at it, you know? So it's just like, boom, here's the game. You're already good at it. It's exactly what you're good at, <laughs> you know? Have fun. Feel good about your accomplishments. It, uh, it feeds my ego, you know? It's a good time. It's a good time. But I don't know if I'd be into it if I was uh, not already good at it. I don't know. I'll never know, because, uh, I was never bad at typing. I mean, you know, there was, there was a time when I was bad at typing. I still remember... Sitting in uh, the computer lab at school as they were teaching us how to type, and uh, they wanted us to learn the uh, like home row or whatever. I still don't type with the home row, but even back then I wasn't uh, super into the home row, so I kind of typed a little bit differently, and I just I just played it and got good at it, you know. A lot of people get a lot of people you know study math or whatever. I studied typing <laughs> while you were. Going to school, I studied the way of the sword. Now I will slice your head off. I don't know, man. But I, I studied typing. Practiced it a lot. Got good at it. Grew up and, and found that, uh... You know, it's, it's been gamified. And it's like, heck yeah, dude. So it's, uh, it's, been, it's been one of my passions. Even when I was, uh, you know, younger. I used to go to, um... Like fast fingers, ten or something like that. 
Can't remember. Um, there's like, uh, you know, like typing websites that would measure your typing speed. I used to just go to them and just type for fun. Just because it was fun. Back then, when I was, uh, this would have been when I was like 14 or 15 years old, I think I was typically getting about uh, like 90 to 120 ish. 120 was a good race. Like a really good race. Like that was my top end. You know, that was like the 175 of today. Um, but, uh, yeah, it was uh, it was fun. People were always impressed by how fast I was able to type. They'd see me on like uh, you know writing or typing on uh, on a computer for for some kind of course or something like that. They're like you type so quickly, how do you do that? I'm like I don't know. I have today, so I go A. Hey, you know, like what's so hard about that? <laughs> I think a lot of people just don't know where all the keys are. You know, like I, I know where every single key on the keyboard is. You know, I can type just as well with my eyes closed as with them open. My eyes are not used for um for the typing. Not necessary. I'd like I'd like to keep them. Please don't take them away, but they're not necessary. And uh, I think that a lot of people just don't get to that point. They don't care to. You know? I'm not sure I ever like studied where the keys were necessarily. Well, no, I definitely have. Um But not much. You know, I haven't spent like hours. I spent maybe like 20 minutes studying where uh, where a few of the the less notable keys are like the home page up page down you know that kind of nonsense I've, st I've studied those for for like a half an hour just to kind of like acquaint myself with the the orientation of them and stuff um but yeah no like every single key on the keyboard i i know exactly where it is i never look at the keyboard to to see a key ever not for any key none none of them i don't i don't look to to see like you know the brackets. I don't look to like hit the slash backspace. You know, page up, page down, scroll lock. I mean, who uses scroll lock anyway? Print screen, Windows keys. Like I don't, uh, I don't. They're all there, right? So when I have to hit, you know, when I have to type ABBA, I just hit A B B A. It's you know. It, it, to me, it's just it's a, it's a very simple process. But if you haven't gotten to that point where you're completely familiar with the layout of your keyboard yeah I can understand why it would be like a difficult thing to do that you know, especially like there's a lot of people out there who uh, look at their keyboard to type right like I don't know maybe you do that um, and if you do that your typing speed just is gonna be slow because you have to like look back and forth between the keyboard and the screen and see where you're typing and hello and uh, constantly have this back and forth and uh, you know kind of like search for the keys so to speak right you're just, you're just not going to be a very fast typist, and it's fine. It's not like typing is the be-all, end-all of what makes somebody a, a valuable member of society. And in fact, I'd, I'd argue that the, the opposite. Um, and I think that largely it's, past a certain point anyway, I think it's a bit of a waste of time from a, from a practical standpoint. Uh, I, I, I've, I've, I've argued that it is a, an incredibly important thing to do, at, at least to a certain point. Um, if you're somebody who, you know, does a, a reasonable amount of typing, um, but you know, past that, past like a hundred words per minute or something like that, I, I I really don't think it's it's gonna have an effect on uh, on your life. Up to hundred words per minute, hundred percent. Yeah, no. If you, if you do a lot of typing, if you like chat in Discords or Reddit or whatever, typing in hundred words per minute will actually have a notable effect on your life. You will actually save like a substantial amount of time. But past that, there's just diminishing returns, and the time that you have to invest to get past that is so much more than the time you have to invest to get to there. So, but yeah, a lot of people have to look at the keyboard to type, and it's like, yeah, you're just gonna not be able to type quickly. You know, that's that's the difference. Is once you know where all the keys are. Even if you don't have the muscle memory to hit the things, like you just need to hit a C, you just hit C, you know? Like it's just, it's there. You know where it is, you know how to hit it. So it's it's a, it's, it's less impressive, I guess, once you once you know how to do it. But I used to get to, in school, in middle school especially, people would be like, you type so quickly, how do you do that? I'm like, I don't know. It's all I do. <laughs> I don't have a life. Um, anyway, that's going to do it for today. So thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to more of the future comedy. If you have anything to say, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.